Hello and welcome to the first episode of Regions Compared. Today we're comparing the Mojave and the Sonoran Desert, seeing which one is inherently objectively better. Right here we have the border between the two. As you see, the Mojave kind of cuts across quite a large swath of territory, taking up four states, and the Sonoran is mostly found in California and Arizona. The distinguishing factor between the two is rainfall, with the Sonoran receiving slightly more because it has a heavier summer wet season, whereas the Mojave receives most of its rainfall during the winter. So first up, we're going to talk about the Mojave. So the Mojave Desert is the driest, hottest desert in the United States. It takes up quite a large swath of land within the basin and range provinces of the southwestern United States. It's cut by a lot of crisscross mountains. Some spectacular sand dunes dot the landscape all throughout. The main plant species you're going to find within the Mojave, and similar to the Sonoran, is going to be creosote bushes, uh, which are those scraggly bushes you'll see when you're driving on the side of the road. But perhaps the most distinguishing plant in the Mojave is the Joshua tree. Now while plant life may be similar between the two deserts, what isn't similar is the dryness in the Mojave. As you can see, even at these higher elevations, it's quite sparse, everything's quite spaced out. You tend to find a juniper and pinyon pine at these higher elevations in both deserts, but as you can see in the Mojave, it is fairly barren wherever you go. Uh, that's just due to the extreme dryness of this climate. As you can see uh, later in the Sonoran, with just a slight difference in rain, you get a lot more plants just in general. Uh, species of animals are fairly synonymous throughout in the lower desert regions also. You got your bighorn sheep, as well as your lizard species, and a bunch of different types of bugs that I will refrain from talking about. But as you can see here, just because it's dry, it does not take away from the fact that it's an absolutely spectacular place with some mind-blowing scenery. Uh, right here is the tall point of Death Valley, one of the most magnificent sunrises I've ever seen in my life. Uh, just some great geologic formations as a whole. It's really a massive region and it's really beautiful, so I recommend anybody and everybody tries to find a local hike that goes through the Mojave, wherever you can get it and uh, go ahead and experience one of the most amazing desert climates that the U.S. has to offer. An area I just wanted to briefly highlight is the Colorado River Valley just south of the tip of Nevada. This area is known as the Colorado Desert, and it is where the Sonoran and the Mojave mix. So if you're ever to see a Joshua tree next to a big old fat saguaro cactus, this is probably the place you'd see it. Up next, we have the Sonoran Desert. This is a picture I took of the Kofa Wilderness. Absolutely beautiful spot in the Sonoran Desert. As you can see, the main distinguishing factor between the two deserts here is these big saguaro cactus. Uh, but you also see, just from these pictures here, that there's a lot more plant life. Even though this is a desert, it's still very dry, doesn't receive all that much precipitation. You're still going to get these blossoming areas of very dense and lush plant life uh, found all throughout the desert. Um, this is another great area. This is Picket Post Mountain, just to the east of Phoenix. Uh, as you see, there's just an astounding differential between the two deserts as far as plant life goes. Um, other than that, species throughout are fairly similar. You are going to get some differences like the Gila Monster, which is very synonymous with the Sonoran Desert climate. You're also going to get a lot more creeks and little streams going through the area, especially in the winter and summer months, especially when you get that summer monsoon kicking up. Another thing worth mentioning is uh, the topography is a lot more cliffy in the Sonoran Desert. There's a lot more cliffs. There's a lot more just cliff faces, whereas the Mojave tends to be more hilly. The Sonoran tends to be a lot more cliffy, which is probably from the rainwater that it tends to get more of, carving more of the landscape down. Uh, you also see a lot more waterfalls in the Sonoran Desert overall than you would in the Mojave Desert. This little recent string of photos you've been seeing is all out of Saguaro National Park. 
So this is the Sierra Estrellas right outside of Western Phoenix. You can see that these do look kind of like the Mojave, but the one big difference is a lot more plants. And just like I showed you in that one picture in the Mojave, you can get these fantastic super blooms with plenty of flowers blooming out. This is just another great display of the cliffiness. So the actual mountains in the Sonoran are where it really differs from the Mojave. They are extremely more lush and home to a lot more species, especially birds. Some of these mountains are home to upwards of hundreds of thousands of bird species. So which is better? So with the Mojave, you get the iconic Joshua trees. You get Joshua Tree National Park, Death Valley National Park, which is one of my favorite national parks in the whole country. And just overall, the actual geo like geologic structures, I would say, are a lot more striking as far as their colors and uh, what they can present to the human eye. But on the other hand, you have the Sonoran, which is a lot more lush, has a lot more water going through it, is a lot cliffier, is a lot more varied in its plant landscapes, I should say. And as you get further up in those mountains, instead of being dry, it's actually quite wet and home to a lot more species. Ultimately, I decided that they're both fantastic. I couldn't pick one over the other. This is Hualapai Mountains. This is kind of where the Sonoran and the Mojave meet. And as you can see, it's very lush and very beautiful. So the kind of guidelines that dictate both is a bit arbitrary, but you're going to have a great time if you visit either of these deserts, get out and go for a hike. So thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one.